working on the CJ2 again and I have to bleed the brakes. Since a lot of this is upgraded, I have a dual master cylinder. You could buy kits to bleed your master cylinder, but I'll just make my own. Typically I would use a flaring tool like this, but they're finicky. I knew it was time to upgrade, and I always liked the hydraulic flaring tools, so I got one from Vever. The kit does 3 16 to half inch, which is nice. Double flares and bubble flares. I haven't used it, but it also does push connect fittings like GM fuel lines and transmission cooling lines, which is nice. But I'll show some 3 16 double flares. The deburring tool that comes in the kit doesn't fit 3 16 line, but that's okay. With the line deburred, I'll put my line nut. Selecting the dies out of the case is easy because they are marked. Drop the die into the hydraulic tool with the longer portion down. Then feed your line through the back. You want it just flush with the die face. You can play around with it a little bit to suit your needs and tighten the handle on the side. Now find the tool for your first step. Again, it's marked and this will drop into the hydraulic flaring tool. Next you want to rotate the entire body of the flaring tool to get it closer. And when you're just close enough, close the valve and pump it slowly so you can get the die inside of the pipe. Once it's in, just keep pumping. And you'll feel it when it bottoms out. You don't have to go anymore. Open the valve. It returns by itself. Drop out the die. And you can see you got your first step done. Now for your last step, get your cone, drop it into the tool. Rotate the body to bring it up. Get it just close enough and remember to close your valve. And then pump again while aligning it into the tube. And then just pump. This will take a little bit of feel to get the proper flare. And if you're not sure, release the valve. It'll self-retract and you can look in. And once it's out, you could check your flare in. And you're good to go. For the next step, I'm gonna release the cap from the master cylinder. I want to get a line from each of these fittings into the master cylinder. The line I just made, I'll fit it. And then from here, I can guesstimate how much material I need, cut it to length, and bend it so it goes and just touches the bottom of the master cylinder. The kit comes with a tube cutter and we'll use it here. So I've marked where I want to cut the tube and we'll just fit it in. And with it cut, I just fitted it and bent it so it's touching the bottom of the master cylinder. Some people say you need clear line to see the bubbles come out, but you don't. You just have to pump the fluid through and any bubbles that are coming out, you're gonna see them at the bottom of this line. You don't need to see them flowing. So I'll put a link in the description with the tools that I used. 